Hi guys, in this video I just want to share and show you the uh, stuff that I know when it comes to measuring a plan, a house plan in PDF, especially when the drawing does not have um, uh, working information, you know, dimensions and uh, all those other numbers that are quantitative needs. So, first of all, go to your tools tab, uh, check for the measure icon or, or you know, ruler and then uh, you know right under the tools tab at the top of the page where you then have to click on the measuring tool the measuring tool will show you um uh, you know uh, different snap types this is like you know how you would be uh connecting your lines and how the lines will or how the measurement will behave so the first thing that you need to do is to is to uh calibrate your drawing um and uh, i've already worked it out i need to um i have a 26 millimeter on paper to represent uh to to be equivalent to one meter on the ground and or, or in real life so if you check a standard door opening that is internal an internal standard door opening should give me something within you know 0 0.86 0 0.85 there less than a meter that is and uh, so that will allow me to probably start over here. Seven, seven, move to there. And here as well. And there. So if I complete that measure, I will get a reading at the bottom right corner, which is uh, 32.26 meters. So with that information, I normally go to my pricing module and um, I can also start off with uh, the length and width of this building, which I guess is about 8.3 there, 8.3 versus 7.95. So that's my length and width, 8.3 uh, 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 times 7.95. 7. Point what? 95, I guess. So I'll give, I'll, I'll clear the site a thousand millimeters around the building walls, and I don't have any deductions. So already, well, with my pricing module, I automatically get various information. That is the clear site, the removal of turf. Uh, it was already started. In Topsoil, yeah, and then the next part is the uh, is the trenches. So the trenches have already established that the perimeter is 32.26 around the building wall. So 32.26 is what I'll enter as the first measurement. I already have other walls internally, so there's that wall that I'll measure which is about 8.4 is that at my right yes 8.4 so i've got 8.4 to follow and um that, so i've got plus 2.3 plus one meter and that will give us a total of 50 50 meters 50.5 so the last, I should say, four measurements are all internal walls. I'll assume those to be 115. So in my setup, I just simply bring that measurement here to get the, um, the, the internal walls over here measurement. And then this one that uh, 2.26 also comes over here, which is the back filling. And then if I enter that, I've already got all this other information, the DPC, measure reinforcement, deformed bars. There's so many formulas that I'll need to explain to you if you're interested in knowing. You know, for instance, if I just enter zero day and zero day, I get a zero quantity here. So I can determine the length and the size. If I want to out of 10 uh, round bar here and a um, 
by 12 you know twisted or devolved bar i'll get about 300 kgs at 4000 uh you know bucks a ton that'll need about 1100 supply and fix this is in us dollars of it by, by the way so that's my information in there already on my other tab for my resources i've got information on the general hands the hours the carpenters the builder the painters and so forth on the guys still fixer going on and on and on and on and on so that's how i i do my measurements in pdf i hope you can also adopt something of your own uh, this is just to make life and work easier and more fun and i trust you enjoyed this video cheers Thank <laughs> you.